Yo, what's up guys? It is OG and today we have a brand new sneak peek on the new brawler Kenji And this is a brawler that I am personally very excited for when I saw it I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna like playing this one and as you guys can see He has a ninja and he has two basic attacks So he has one that's a dash so that's the dash one and then after the dash It's like an AOE like uh, just a swipe kind of and you can see the dash is 1k and the swipe does 2k now the first gadget that I'm going to show you guys is it's just the dash. So I think this will be really good into like if you're playing against throwers or something because you can like obviously it's a ton of movement and you can just get a lot of space on him. Uh, but I think it will be probably the other gadget seems pretty good. I'll show it after. But uh, yeah, this is the gadget that I've been messing around with more and I think it'll have a lot of utility. Now. He does have a bunch of AOE attacks. Even this one, it does damage multiple people. So you can just line people up like that and you know, it goes through. And uh, he just feels really clean to play. And a lot of people have been talking about his super. So his other star power, you can see right now I have a shield. So the first star power is that after five seconds, you get like 90% damage reduction uh, from any incoming attack. So that's crazy. That's gonna definitely let him win a bunch of interactions. So I think that'll probably be the more popular star power. Uh, but his other one does make his super have more range, like the slices on it. I'll show you guys that one after as well when I'm playing some games. But uh, I think the super is strong without it. I have been messing around with him a bit. And you can just see it's such a cool super and his whole kit feels really good to play. I, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, how this brawler came out. I haven't been the biggest fan of some of the recent brawlers, but this one I can definitely get behind. And it's just like really fun for me to play. So just touching on his super, it is, as you can see, there's two kind of parts to it. And you'll always land where you start from. So if I throw my super like up there, I'm gonna go back to where I initially threw it. I think that's really good. It's a uh, I mean, you can't just like TP on a thrower's head or something like that. Uh, so I think it makes sense. But you are completely untargetable when you use your super. So we'll just use it here. And you can't take any damage. <laughs> I like the fish animation. And you almost chain it back if you hit them twice. So you can see you'll be able to cycle supers if you get really good value with it. Uh, I think people will get kind of decent at dodging it. Uh, but I think you'll be able to consistently hit at least one. And I feel like it has pretty good range, like I said. So I'll probably not use the other star power. I think this one is just like nuts. Uh, but obviously it's different when you play it. So we'll have to see what that's like. But overall, the super is just so cool and so are the main attacks. I do think Kenji is gonna be pretty strong starting off and he just feels like he has a really well balanced, like thought out kit. So once again, props to whoever designed this brawler. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be good into kind of like I don't want to say anti-tanks because he doesn't have the most like DPS But he'll definitely be able to get onto like squishier brawlers And I don't think he'll be the best into tanks either just because they can kind of run him over I mean you could probably kite a little bit There's definitely gonna be a lot of ways to play him uniquely just with like the dash getting away from people He doesn't have the fastest reload speed So you definitely do need to be careful and a lot of the meta right now is just like getting ran down so I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of ways to play him, but I'm sure you could use the gadget like very efficiently like for this as well, for scoring or like just getting position, going aggro, etc. But I think his kit just feels too good for him not to be good. And we know Supercell likes making new brawlers <laughs> very good as well. So I'm definitely itching to play this one as soon as possible. might be wondering why I'm just standing here getting siloed down by the one robot that shoots you in the training cave it is so I can show you his other gadget so basically you recover a bunch of HP okay <laughs> it'll look better against brawlers that do more HP it's actually a good amount it's like 75% in the past of the damage you've taken in the past three seconds so it might not work the best against that robo but against real brawlers i think it'll be really good and uh it'll just make you like really tanky you can pair it with the other star power as well i did go ahead and switch the star power so you can see it now covers all the robots up here and it is a ton of range um i think I, like it's nice to have but i don't think it doesn't increase the damage or anything 
Um, and I feel like the super is a little easy to hit. Other, I don't want to say easy to hit, but I feel like it's hard to dodge. Like I said, like you could probably dodge like one of two, but I feel like you should always be hitting the one just off of like first impressions. I almost missed the stationary robot. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be using this star power. I feel like the other one's just way too good. As for gears on Kenji, I personally think you'll be going like shield damage most of the time. I mean, speed gear definitely if it's like a grassy map. He's one of those brawlers that I think speed and like mobility helps out a lot on. Uh, I'm not too sure about plus one. I mean, plus one probably goes really well with this gadget. So he heals 75% of damage taken over the last three seconds instantly. So you can just kind of like run into a bunch of people, take a bunch of damage, and then just press your gadget and you'll be really tanky. Uh, overall, he's not, I mean, he's like decent HP, 7,600, but with that, like you can easily like heal like, I don't know, like 4K, like 5K, something like that. So I think it'll be really good and uh, it'll just make him really strong and like feel really tanky along with this star power as well. You get the 90% damage reduction from the next enemy attack. So that'll be really useful. Like imagine like a Mandy super, it's going to do nothing to you if you have that shield or just like a piper shot, something like that. So I think this star power and this gadget is gonna be the best pairing for him. All right guys, I'm gonna do a quick little bot match just to kind of give you like a rundown of how I think you can play him, going into him and just kind of showcasing how uh, you would use his gadget, etc. like that. We're just gonna run in the middle, we can get there faster with our dash attack. So like I said earlier, it is one dash and then a swipe. And obviously we're against bots here. I'm gonna run into the Primo, take some damage. No, can I run into the 8-bit, take some damage? Please hit me, 8-bit. Bot 8, come on. I'm trying to make a video here, bro. All right, so you can see he does a little bit of damage. Guys, come on, focus up, please. Please, bro, hit me. All right, we're taking some damage. Look, you get 70, oh, oh no! Okay, okay, I'm gonna use my super there. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. They were waiting for my gadget on cooldown, I guess. Maybe Colette will get a chance to do it here. No. Okay. But you can just see how good the super is from evading attacks and things like that. And you can chase down other brawlers as well. It is a really mobile brawler, which is always nice and always fun to play, in my opinion. Alright guys, so another very important part of his kit that I forgot to mention, there's just so much in his kit, you guys gotta forgive me here. Every time you damage an enemy, you will get healing and that does scale, so even if you super someone, you can see I'm full HP now. That is like, I didn't realize it because there's too much going on, but that's kind of like game breaking right there, like he has so much healing. Um, especially because it's his super, so I can just like heal off of anyone and I go untargetable. And then I'll spawn back, so I can just like super, and I'm full HP. Obviously, I'm getting a ton of healing off those little robots, and uh, you won't be doing it, but you get it with your basic attack too. So that's definitely going to be something that lets you win a lot of interactions. And it is going to catch people off guard for sure. Uh, but this healing is insane if you just look at the value here like I'll go to full HP. I think probably Yeah, just like that like plus 7k HP and that's I'm not even using the gadget right like this gadget If I'm getting bursted then it does a lot and on top of that I have the shield so this roller is going to be extremely hard to kill I think it's just a lot of healing and a lot like the entire kit is just based on healing or damage reduction and evading damage and it is going to be very game breaking i think guys just my first impressions obviously it's different when you play it against real people but this brawler is just way too good yeah they're gonna have to nerf, nerf the trait i think as for who he's good versus i think he'll be very good versus any brawler that you can kind of load mid hp and you can kind of sneak on them uh he doesn't have the most damage in the world but i feel like the healing kind of makes up for it so also anyone that he can kind of like just fight consistently i think his aoe attack is really nice so like spawners or like people that have like gadget spam 
uh, like tar or something. He can just cut through that. Rough specs as well. Penny barrel. Uh, it's not going to bother him too, too much. So it is really nice for him that it is AOE. As you guys can see here, the super obviously is as well. Uh, I don't know. I think some tanks could definitely just run him over. But then he does have mobility too. So you can kind of just get your space, I think. And... You know, you don't have the most damage, but I think you'll probably be pretty okay into everything on release. Uh, it just feels very good because you can sneak up on throwers too. That's the thing. Like, you can get close to them. You can hit them over the wall if it's like this. You do have your super and you do do a good amount of damage with that. Throwers are pretty squishy. So, yeah, I think... He'll be a pretty strong brawler, honestly. As for game modes, I think his best mode will probably be gem grab. Uh, I think he just has a lot of ways to just kind of stay alive, uh, win lane, and get on the enemy gem carrier. I do think he'll be okay in uh, pretty much every mode, but one thing I do notice is, uh, obviously I'm against bots right now, but he's not the best at like, let's say bounty or knockout where you need to stay alive or like you can't die, you get punished for it a lot. Uh, so I think he will struggle a little bit in those modes and heist, he might just be played there because he's so good, but he doesn't really have the damage for heist in my opinion um, to be good enough after a few balance changes or something on him. Uh, so I think overall though, starting off he'll be good in like most game modes and uh, mainly though like he feels like a brawl ball, like gem grab, hot zone kind of brawler. All right, guys, that is my sneak peek on the new brawler, Kenji. I am very excited for this brawler. I really like its design and 100% genuine. Uh, this is the first brawler I've looked forward to in a while. Definitely anticipating his release, and I know I'm going to enjoy playing it. Seems like a really fun... I enjoy, like, a lot of the mobile brawlers that you can do, like, a lot on, and... Just make it like a lot of cool plays. And I love his brawler design too. They did a really good job with this brawler, honestly. And I definitely recommend you guys getting it. Use code OG on it if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, I will be buying this brawler. I can't wait to play it, like I said. And I hope this video helped you guys get a better understanding and get you a little excited for the brawler to come out as well. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video.